Hi guys and welcome to English 120 online. My name is Brianna Kuhn and I will be your instructor for this fall 2017 semester. And so um, please do watch this video in its entirety because we are going to go over how to log in to our course site. Um, we're going to go over some of the syllabus and how to navigate through our course. So um, again, please do watch this whole video. All right. So what you're looking at here is the Canvas login screen. So our course is actually not going to be on Blackboard, it will be on Canvas, okay? So that's another reason why you want to watch this whole video, right? Because um, I'm going to show you how to use Canvas, okay? So the website here for our class is gccd.instructure.com slash login slash Canvas, all right? And this is listed on our syllabus, okay? So if we look on our syllabus here, Oops. If we look on our syllabus, you will see our website right here. So all you would have to do is click on that. So I'm already here, and your login information for Canvas is going to be the same as Canvas. Uh, excuse me. The login information for Canvas is going to be the same login that you used for Blackboard. Okay. So um, if you're having trouble logging in, please call the the Campus Help Desk, the Cuyamaca Help Desk, and they can help you. Um, figure out what your login information is. All right. So you click login and you will see kind of a uh, tile here for our class. And this is us. Notice 2017 fall English 120. All right. So all you have to do is click on that and you are into our class. All right. All right. So now in order to find the syllabus, Okay, well, let's let's talk about this first. So there's going to be kind of key links that you can click on, and this is kind of the general dashboard here for all of your classes that you're taking on Canvas, okay? So this would be your inbox for every class on Canvas, um, the calendar, okay? But what we're going to be looking at mostly today are these tabs right here. Um, on the inner margin. Okay, now these tabs are specific to our English course. Okay, so first let's look at syllabus. Okay, so Canvas, you can tell the layout is quite different. All right, so there's a couple things going on on this page. Okay, so first you'll notice the syllabus. So whenever you see that there's a document on Canvas, you can click on the magnifying glass and that will allow you to see the document right there in Canvas without actually downloading it. And the, the document comes up and it's embedded all the, already in Canvas. Okay, so this takes just a second because it's a big file. Um, but you'll notice here's our syllabus and you can kind of scroll through it that way. Okay, what I've done, however, for the purposes of this video is I've downloaded it to my computer by clicking on the arrow. Okay, and that's what I have open. Um, but first, before we get into that, and you can minimize this when you're done with it, what I want to get into really quickly is um, what else is on the syllabus screen. You'll notice here it says course summary. Uh, all of these here are, the, are all of the assignments for the whole semester. So what Canvas does is whenever I create a deadline, it will create a link on your syllabus page and it will tell you when it's due. So everything that's due Sunday, August 27th is listed right here. And these are actually links that you can click on to complete the assignments, okay? That is just one way to find your assignments. I'm going to show you um, even a, an even more comprehensive view in just a second. You'll notice here, too, that you'll see the calendar. So if you scroll over, everything's always going to be due on Sundays. So when you scroll over, notice that it's being highlighted on the left. Right? It will tell you what's due on that day, okay? But let's get to our syllabus. And we'll come back to Canvas in just a minute. Okay. So for our class, we are going to be dealing with the danger of a single story. That is going to be our course theme, okay? So let's go ahead and look at our course overview. Welcome to English 120. This semester, we will look deeply at the work of Chiminata Ngoji Adichie a Nigerian woman who speaks about the danger of a single story. She argues that forming single stories of people and places robs people of dignity. 
In our course, we, we will listen to her TED Talk and use her arguments as a foundation as we progress through our essays and assignments. We will examine our preconceived notions of other people, different places, varying ideologies, and even ourselves. This form of introspection can lead to spacious thinking and to formulating new worldviews, and I am very much looking forward to hearing everyone's insights as we progress through our course. Okay, so what I'm highlighting in this in this class is spacious thinking, okay? And so um, what I want everyone to do is to be able to tolerate and understand different perspectives, okay? So I'm not asking for you all to change how you believe about everything in this world due to this class, okay? Um, I am not a brainwasher, okay? What I'm more interested in is that you can understand and tolerate different perspectives. Um, now, this may lead you to changing your opinion, but it might not. Or it may lead you to coming to a more qualified viewpoint in some gray area, okay? But again, I am not asking you to change how you feel about anything, all right? So uh, hopefully that is clear from the get-go and uh, you will thoroughly enjoy this class. All right, um, so we can go over some important information down the left of our syllabus here. My name is Brianna Kuhn. This is fall 2017. This is my email address, section number, units, our course website, and then some important deadlines, okay? So the add, drop, and drop without a W um, deadline is September 1st. Please be sure to do that. Otherwise, um, if you drop in between September 1st and September 22nd, or excuse me, November 9th, your grade on your transcript will be a W. If you drop, um, yeah, okay, the withdrawal deadline is 11-9. If you do not drop the class before that deadline, your grade will become an F, okay? So be sure to pay attention to these deadlines. And the pass, no pass option is September 22nd. So how to succeed. We are responsible for your success in English 120. I am your ally. This is an online English course, and yes, it is challenging. However, I am always available over email to answer any questions that you have, no matter how small. My class is meant to be a collaborative learning environment in which students and instructor work as a team to create the most rewarding college writing experience. All right, so I take this very seriously. Some students email me and they say, oh, so sorry to bother you. I just had a quick question about this or sorry it's so late, or sorry, whatever. You don't have to apologize for sending me an email, okay? This is my job, I am here to help you, I am here to answer your emails, all right? That's the only way that you can get in touch with me, okay? I can't expect everyone to completely understand 100% of the material that I just put online, okay? So please use me as a resource. You are never bothering me. So let's get into our textbooks. So we have two books for this class, all right? First, I'm going to talk about our novel, okay? And I have it right here. Our novel is The Other Westmore, okay? It's a fascinating novel about two men who share the same name, and uh, they're the same age, and they grew up in the same city. And uh, it, the, the author is one of those people, and the other, uh, Westmore, is a man who is in prison for life. So the author's mission in this book is to figure out why did one Westmore end up a scholar and an author, and the other Westmore end up in prison for life. So it's a very, very fascinating novel. The other book that we're going to be using is our textbook, okay, and that is this one here, Curry, Current Issues and Enduring Questions. Now you will need this right away, so be sure to get it. You need the other Westmore right away too. Um, now a little note about Enduring Questions here, um, this guy here. So I have the ISBNs there for you if you want to buy your book elsewhere. Uh, you can get the 10th edition of Current Issues and Enduring Questions. That's fine with me. Um, you do not need an access code or anything for our book. So uh, you can feel free if you need to exchange your book for a cheaper, cheaper option. You can go ahead and do that. But again, we do need our books right away. So keep your book until you get the new one, if that makes sense. Um, if you're good with the 11th edition, you're already good to go. Now, the 10th edition does have some different page numbers, so you will have to look up the readings by author and title in your index or the table of contents. But um, just about everything that you need is still in the 10th edition. Um, so I know the, the online um, site says that you need an access code, but you do not. You do not, okay? 
from. So those are our textbooks. All right, and now I want to get to the course organization. And this is this is kind of the meat and potatoes of this video. I'm going to be talking to you about the course organization and then showing you on Canvas um, our course layout and how to find all of your assignments. Okay, so our course will be divided into weekly modules. Each module will contain all the lecture material, handouts, videos, assignments, including discussion board, peer reviews, and quizzes, and submission links for the week. Each folder will become available the day the previous folder's assignments are due. Okay, um, Because we want to simulate the pace of a typical classroom, we will all work at the same pace, completing one folder at a time. Each week we have two deadlines. We will complete all assignments each Sunday, with the exception of responses to your peers' discussion boards, which are due on Mondays. This will allow you to creatively and insightfully respond to your peers' work after everyone has had the opportunity to post. Okay, so every folder will become available to you every Sunday at 7 a.m. That folder will then become due the following Sunday at midnight. So you have a little bit over a week to complete every module. And then if there's a discussion board for that week, your responses to your peers are due on Mondays, okay? But everything else is due on Sunday. So let me show you what this looks like. Okay, so the main tab that you will need for this semester is the modules tab, okay? So you click on modules. Notice here, I have all the modules completed for the whole semester, okay? But um, you will only be able to see one at a time. And notice I have the very latest one on top. So um, you guys are going to be working with obviously the first one, due Sunday 827, and you can click on the arrow to expand it, okay? So if you can see, I don't I think my video is in the way here, there we go. You can see here it will unlock Sunday August 20th at 7 a.m. and that will just happen automatically. So that is when you can kind of see the next week's module. So once it's unlocked, you will be able to click on all of these items. So there's a couple ways to navigate through a module. Okay, you can of course click, it, these are all clickable links, okay? But, so you can click on the tasks, right? Now the task list, as you can see here, it shows you everything that you need to do, okay? So from here, you can go ahead and click on all of these things. And whatever's on the task list is everything you need to do for the whole week. So once you complete everything here, you're done for the week. All right. So you can click on each individual item and keep returning to the task list to complete the module. Okay. Or you can scroll through the module itself. Notice you see previous and next. So let's scroll through the module. Okay. So I don't really need to show you how to click on these. So you click next. Notice this says complete syllabus quiz. So the syllabus quiz will be the first thing. Okay. So um, all you have to do to complete the quiz, this will say um, this will say um, begin or something like that. But you click this link here to complete it, and then you go through and answer the questions. Okay. I don't want to show you all the questions right away. All right. Um, so that is completing the quiz. So once you're done with that, you go to next. Okay. You're going to watch this Adichie TED Talk. So this is a video. All right. It takes you to this here and you click play. All right. Once you're done, you can go back to your module. Okay. Click next. Oh, oh so this is an external um, link. So what you need to do is return to the modules. Okay. So once you watch the Adichie TED Talk, you can see the Adichie transcript here. This is just a link. It opens in a new window. You can have this open while you're watching the video if you'd like to. It's literally a transcript of her whole text. Okay. Um, and then you can click next again. So now this assignment okay, is the course expectations. So what students are going to do, um, I have clear instructions here, but click the course expectations page here and click edit. So you will click edit right here and respond to each prompt. Okay, so you will go through and respond to each of these six prompts here, right? You are just going to add your responses so that everyone's, everyone's responses will be on the same page, okay? I want this to become a class wiki page where everybody's responses are on the same page, kind of like a Google Doc, all right? But once you've responded, you click save, okay? 
So that's that one. Okay, and then you will click next. And then this assignment is kind of paired with what we just looked at. This is a course expectations discussion board. So you go through, you read the instructions. To respond to the discussion board, all you do is click reply. And then you just type your original post here. You don't actually type these words. I'm just doing this to show you. Once you've typed and answered your discussion board, you click post reply. Okay, you will see your reply here. To respond to a peer, under, see, notice there's a reply and then a reply under each peer. So to reply to, for, for your original response, be sure you're clicking reply directly under the discussion board instructions. To reply to a peer, make sure you're clicking reply directly under your peer. Okay. And this is what it will end up looking like. Okay. And then once all of, once, you know, your peers start to respond, um, it will just kind of accrue everybody's on one page. So you don't have to go click through each person like you would on Blackboard and read their response and then say, oh, I don't want to respond to that person. And then you have to click back out and go back in and find a different person. Um, this discussion board is a lot flatter on Canvas, okay? So everybody will be able to see everybody's here on the same page by just scrolling down, okay? So once you're done with the discussion board, you go on to the next one. And then there's one more discussion board having to do with the TED Talk that you watched. And you follow these instructions and reply, and then reply to your peers. Um, so let's see if I can. And that, that is the end of the module. So if we go back, you'll notice right, we've now completed everything in the module. Right? So again, you can find everything you need in the task list and you will complete everything listed here. Or you can also see it when you expand your module and you can go through and scroll through like we just did or you can return to this page and click on these links to complete your module. However you decide to do it, you might do it different every week, it doesn't really matter. As long as everything in your module is completed, that's all you have to do every week for the class. And then when you're done with the module, you can kind of collapse it so that this page isn't so far down, just, you know, you don't have to scroll. And then the next module will become available, right? And this one has essay one materials, so I, have, I will have a prompt and a prompt video, some sample essays, okay, and some more activities to do, and so on and so forth through the class, all right? So that is basically navigating through our modules. I do want to show you really quickly how to submit an assignment, something that's not a discussion board, okay? We will, uh, so for example, when you're ready to submit essay one, okay, you will see a button up here that says submit, um, submit your assignment, okay? And I'm not in student view, which is why that it doesn't happen. Um, let me see if I can get in student view really quick. So hopefully this will work. Ah, I've locked the module so you guys can't see it. Um, but that's okay. Okay, that's okay. Okay, sorry about that. You will see a submit assignment blue button right up here instead of this publish right here. It will be a giant button submit assignment and you simply click on that. Notice that um, these are the only three file types that you can submit. Um, you upload your assignment and then you hit submit. Okay, so it's pretty easy. Um, so I just wanted to show you that. Okay, so let's return now to our syllabus. Okay. So I will let you guys look at all of this. Notice there's a discussion board rubric. Uh, the response papers are going to be on the other Westmore. Okay, there's very clear instructions there. All right, you can kind of scroll through. Um, be sure that you read the whole syllabus because there is a syllabus quiz, right? Read, read, read. So for DSPS students, if you are DSPS, please email me. I am more than happy to work with you and um, provide you any accommodations that you need. Okay, so just always work together with me, whether you're D DSPS or whether you just have a question, whatever the case may be, reach out to me early when things are happening so that we can work together to fix whatever's going on or to
you know, so I can help you, right? There's also free tutoring at the Writing Center. It's in B167. Um, you can also call to make an appointment. Uh, they also are uh, rolling out online tutoring. So go ahead and call the Cuyamaca Writing Center um, so that you can find out some information about how to do some online tutoring. Um, it sounds pretty amazing the way that they explained it to me. So um, if you can't make it to campus, uh, do call and see if you can get some online tutoring. This is our grade breakdown here in our grading rubric. Okay, and just so you know, um, the syllabus throughout, if you've noticed, I have links for um, how to, some tutorial videos for everything on Canvas. So if you need to know how to check your grades, you can click on this link. Um, let's see here, briefly. Communicating in Canvas. Um, how to complete peer reviews. This is a really important video. Um, I have this video also on Canvas when we get to the peer reviews. Uh, you will you will definitely need to watch that. How to do a discussion board or an assignment, how to submit an assignment, right? So um, all the resources that you need for how to do things in Canvas is on the syllabus. Um, I know a lot of you have not yet used Canvas, um, but hopefully as you can see so far, it's, it's pretty, pretty straightforward. Um, on my syllabus here, I've provided my teaching philosophy and just a little bit about me. Um, I know that uh, online classes can be pretty anonymous, so I want you guys to know a little bit about who's teaching you this semester. So that's just for you. Yes, these are my cats. They are very, very funny. Okay. The next thing on the syllabus, I've provided you a chart of all your major assignments. Okay, you guys all received an email about how we're going to have an in-person midterm and final exam. So that is listed here in red, okay? So you'll have, um, it's a full essay. It will be based on our novel, The Other West More, Friday, October 13th at 9 a.m. in the Digital Theater, B101. And then our on-campus final exam is a departmental final. It will be Friday, December 15th at 12 p.m. in the Digital Theater, B101, okay? So that is listed here on your syllabus, okay? But your essays are all in blue, and then your response papers are in green. If I scroll up briefly, I have a section here on your exams, okay? So you can kind of uh, read a little bit more about the exams if, uh, if you want some more information, okay? But I want to get to the course schedule and show you how to read the course schedule. Don't mind the yellow highlighting that will be gone um, once, you guys, once you guys see your syllabus. Okay. Each column contains the materials, videos, readings, activities, and essays due for each deadline. If there are page numbers listed after the reading, the reading can be found in our textbook. This guy here. If the reading is on Canvas, it will say link on Canvas. TOWM refers to the other what's more. Okay? Assignments are due the day they are listed. And if you want a, a tutorial on how to use the calendar in Canvas, you can see that there. So unit one will be a rhetorical analysis, and every page in the schedule is a different unit. So notice this will be weeks one through four. The next unit, cultural expectations, weeks five through eight. Uh, unit three is on women, will be weeks nine through 12. And unit four, multiple perspectives, education, humanities, and STEM, will be weeks 13 through 17. Okay, so I just wanna show you the first, the first page here. So everything that you need to do is in columns, okay, by category. So the materials and videos for week one will be watch the welcome video, which you're doing right now, watch the Adichie TED Talk, review the Adichie transcript, the course expectation responses in DB, the Adichie's DB, and the syllabus quiz. So this is all stuff that we just went over on Canvas as I was scrolling through those modules. So you notice on your task list on Canvas, Right. Your task list, let's get to that. Here's your task list, right? The task list is exactly the same as your course schedule. Right? Everything here is listed here. So what I like to do is just put things in multiple places because some people prefer the task list, some people prefer just seeing it on, on um, your schedule. So however you want to stay organized, okay? But do know that these always match up. 
I also, um, you know, of course I want to give you the course schedule so you can see what's coming ahead. In the modules, you can only see them one at a time as they're released. So you can look at your schedule all the time and you can see what assignments are coming up so you're not surprised. All right. So the last thing I want to do for this video is kind of just show you a little bit more about what's on Canvas. All right, so there's tabs here. Um, the assignments tab, so if you ever want to just go directly to an assignment, you can do that, but please know the only ones you'll be able to see are the ones that are in the current module for the week. So they're broken down here. You can, of course, expand. Um, so maybe you just want to go straight to a discussion board. You can find them here or a quiz or an essay, rough draft response paper. Okay, you can do that. Also, the discussions have their own tab. All right. So you can go ahead and find um, whatever discussion board that we're working on. Notice they're not available until the module is unlocked. Okay, and your grades are here. All right, so this is kind of a different layout, but you'll be able to see, um, you know, everything at the top, kind of like Blackboard, and then you'll be able to see your score out of the total number of points. And then at the bottom, what it does, and on mine, it's to the right. Scroll all the way over. On the bottom of your grade sheet, okay, this gray part, this will tell you your average on each category of assignments that we have. So for discussions, it will tell you kind of what your average has been. So if you're getting 18 out of 25, then you know you should look at the rubric again and, and figure out what you need to do to improve your score, right? Um, so you will see this at the bottom of your grade sheet, all right? And then we can come come back here. Um, student help, all right? This is really important if you if you need help learning Canvas, tutoring the library website, student services. There's a bunch of good information here. There's Canvas Guide, so when you click on Student Guide, it will give you a whole list of things, okay, if you need help with discussions, okay, you can click on that, right, all of this here. Um, how do I mark discussions, reply, right, say you wanted that one, okay, right, and it'll answer your question for you. So this is a really good resource for students. Okay, announcements, assignments, right. Look at all these things that you can find answers to. All right. So student resources there is really helpful. Okay. All right. And then the last thing, let's see, on your calendar on the left. Now this is for every class that you have on Canvas, but you click on calendar. Right. And our class is in green right here. Now these links are live, so you can go to your calendar and say, oh, I still need to do the discussion board for August 27th. You can click on it and it will open up, okay? And it'll, you know, you can actually complete it right there, all right? Um, so that's something really helpful for students as well. We can look at a different month. So you can see September, right? Everything is listed here. Please note on the discussion boards again, it will, it will be on Sunday for the calendar, but you'll need to respond to two peers as well, which are always due on Mondays. All right. So that is basically everything you need to know for the class. Um, we went over a lot, but you can return to this video throughout the semester if you need a refresher on anything, or you can always email me. Um, I'm very much looking forward to our course, uh, and I, I hope to see you all online.